Hello, everyone. I'm happy to welcome all of you here on our webinar. Uh, I hope everything is okay with the sound. If uh, anything is not working, please write in the chat. And uh, I will be happy to hear, hello, hello everyone, to hear all of your questions today. So uh, let's get started. Today we are going to speak about everything you wanted to know about ASO and working with the reviews. Uh, my name is Elizabeth. I'm customer success lead at Asadesk, and um, I really want every one of our clients to uh, build their business greatly. That's why I do everything to help them. So today I'm going uh, to tell you about Asadesk and how to work with uh, App Store optimization and reviews with it. So what is actually Asadesk? Uh, if you guys have any questions, just type them below. Uh, I will be happy to answer them. Uh, so, Asadesk is actually one solution to grow your app business in App Store and Google Play. Actually, we have the platform uh, where we give you the tools with which you can work in eight categories. We also work with uh, more than 60 million search queries in our database, and uh, we track 18 uh, mobile applications in more than 100 of countries. So all the countries where you can find mobile uh, data, we work with them. Uh, so also we are an agency where you can uh, ask us to do App Store optimization, uh, app audit, uh, textual optimization, uh, screenshots, uh, Apple search ads, and so on. And Academy, we have our own Academy where we uh, learn our students how to become great ASO specialists. And so let's get started. Uh, and also a little bit about our clients. We have more than uh, 60,000 app and game developers and um, most famous of them are AB, Dev Game, Black Games, uh, Verve and so on. Uh, so our clients, uh, they tell that our platform is uh, uh, useful for their uh, App Store optimization and especially our automatic ASO reports and our data. Uh, so. Actually, uh, this webinar is a little bit about our great promo Black Friday. We have 50% off on all our um, on all our tools, uh, on all our tariff plans in the system. So, if you would like, you can uh, check it. If you have any questions about plans, I will try to figure it out during this webinar. Try to tell you uh, on which plan what you will be able to do. And it's available only till tomorrow, November 25. So don't miss it. Uh, it's definitely worth it to have the plan for the whole year with such a great discount. And uh, uh, let's get started to our webinar. You can click, by the way, on our. Uh, so how to quickly build a semantic core. Right now I will switch to Asadesk. We have um, several points. First one of them is, of course, semantic core. I will share you my screen. We will uh, do actually everything uh with you guys today and the first one is how to quickly build semantic core i also would like to talk about second question how to work with metadata in different languages because they are quite similar just i will show you how asadesk can help you with it uh and yep i'm sharing my screen with you right now and yep you can see me Yep, 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 yes, everything is working. Great, so today I've decided to work with application Colm. It's a great app because it has also like a brand name and also Colm has a lot of uh, keywords, general, generic keywords uh, in uh, like common sense. That's why let's get started. So when you are in Asadesk, uh, it's our first home screen. You can add any application using direct URL or just type in anything like maybe fit app Beat app or anything like that, and you will find and you can press button track and you will track it. Also, remember that we have different countries. So when you press here, you can find all of them. You can also use search bar here and start working with it. So I've already added the app column. So let's get started to keyword analytics. Keyword analytics is the main tool and uh, it's available on all our plans, starting from pro, pro plan, uh, the first our plan. Uh, you will find Keyword Manager. It's the best thing to create the semantic core. So here you find the cloud of different search suggestions for you to track and to work with. Uh, so for call, they are almost endless. So you can press this button, add all, add, uh, add all, 
at all. And it will give you more and more different uh, search phrases on which you can create after the semantic core. Let's save these keywords so we can work with them uh, after. Uh, missing ranked keywords. Missing ranked keywords are available from Flow Plan, uh, and you can um, actually check uh, top one for your application you're tracking right now, or you can or top six to ten or top uh, eleven to twenty, or you can go to missing competitor keywords. Let's add any competitor. For example, let's search home uh, and uh, headspace. We hope, of course have better sleep. Uh, rain, 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 rain. Maybe let's sleep and sounds meditation. I like their icon. They quite like cool guys. Uh, so you can check the keywords of your competitors. It's really very cool that you can do it even from the first plan, uh, starting from it. Only one uh, point will be missing. It's daily impressions and search as popularity. It will be locked, but anyway, you can add them like at all and you can add them on your uh, keyword analytics lower here and you will have all this um, data available. So uh, let's go back to uh, Keyword Manager and check Apple search ads. By the way, if you would like, you can uh, hide this uh, menu and Apple search ads suggestions. Uh, if you would like to start, we are working, by the way, on iOS platform. Android platform is also available, so you can just switch them. Uh, I will tell if we have any differences in this platform, I will tell you uh, during my talk today. Uh, so right now, Apple search ads, of course, only available if you're working with Apple applications on Google Play. We don't have such opportunity. You, uh, I hope you understand why. Uh, so if you would like to run Apple search ads for Chrome application, uh, uh, Apple will suggest you such keywords. Of course, sometimes Apple suggests uh, different keywords which are not uh, representative, which are not uh, uh, even similar to your application. But anyway, you just uh, uh, check it. And maybe like health app, maybe let's add it. And you add them very simply. Uh, we also have text analyzer. You can analyze any text here. Uh, usually it is used to analyze a description in Google Play because uh, in the in Google Play description, uh, it's like almost 4,000 characters and uh, we use different search phrases there. You can also analyze iOS uh, description, why not? Uh, and you can find here also different interesting suggestions for your semantic core. So when you build your semantic core, the main idea is to create as many search phrases as possible. And after you pick them, uh, in which one you would like to promote your application, which one you would like to use in your metadata, metadata which is indexed by the store, Google Play or uh, iOS. And uh, here, that's all about text analyzer. You can also, if you're working, by the way, with the Google Play, check the density and count, because sometimes when you are uh, working with um, keywords in Google Play, you uh, uh, need to, check that this um, density counter is like no more than 5% or because if it's so, the Google will think that this keyword is a spam and they wouldn't give you positions on this keyword. Uh, let's go to Keyword Shuffler. Keyword Shuffler actually helps you to analyze uh, which uh, keywords, which phrases, search phrases you will get from your keywords, especially if you are working with the iOS when you have only 160 syllables uh, it's almost impossible to understand uh, how keywords will combine with each other so we can use keyword shuffler and check how they actually will combine and which search phrases you will have from your 160 characters or syllables uh, copy from if you need to copy any uh, by the way for example you worked with calm and you're starting to work with a new fitness application new like meditation no application you can copy all the keywords from up uh, one app to another or from one country to another country just uh, to reduce the amount of work you are doing. So it's all about Keyword Manager. One more time, it's available from ProPlan. On uh, Guru Plan, uh, these um, locks will be opened and uh, uh, on our next uh, plans, you also have it. So uh, let's go to Keyword Table. Starting from ProPlan, it's available uh, on Ultimate Plan. You, you will have estimated installs, very useful. I will um, right now tell you about them. So we've added like 171 
keywords in our semantic core, of course, it's not enough. Actually, you should have at least like uh, 500 or uh, maybe even 1000 of keywords in your semantic core if you really need to find the specific keywords on which you will be in top three, top one. Of course, uh, you need to have a lot of them to check because right now the market is very competitive. So you need to use and to analyze all of the keywords you've got uh, at all of the keywords you can collect. Uh, and let's go to our keyword table. So we have them. Let's try to find out which one we can use in our core. So uh, first thing that I would like to do, I would like to reduce all the, the zero keywords. Actually, I've got a lot of them. Uh, here I see, yep, and search ads is also daily impressions. Uh, so what I've just done, I use our uh, smart uh, check. And uh, here you can uh, like check like daily impressions, uh, zero search ads popularity, five. You know, it's the lowest position for point for search ads popularity. You can also check low ranking keywords, ranked keywords and unranked keywords here. So daily impressions, what does it mean? Actually, it's the estimated number of users uh, who are searching for the keyword, for the specific keyword in particular country per day. Search ads is just the uh, search ads data popularity from the app store. Uh, so it's available and you can uh, check it and you can remove all these keywords because they are not popular uh, I would don't want to use them yes remove please remove all these keywords uh, also what we have here so we have them right now we can use uh, the great actually um, opportunity to use difficulty so this um, will help you to understand very quickly which keywords will be easier to promote with like here, for example, let's search them, search them by difficulty. And we have, of course, the toughest one and here the lowest one. So we can go to can't sleep, fall sleep, arm and so on and so on and choose like the guys we like, because, for example, these are quite popular. This also is um, we were really interested in it in these free meditation apps in Caracom, in Relax, free sleep sound, so on. So maybe we would like to go until 75. You can also try to find more um, competitive keywords. I will a little bit later show you how. And uh, estimated installs. Estimated installs, actually, I usually don't use when I do, when I collect semantic core, because uh, I do it when I um, understand uh, how optimization worked. So we will go to this uh, metric a little bit later. iPhone rank, our position right now. Of course, if we are creating a new metadata, uh, we need to understand on which position our application, according to this keyword, is right now. So you can observe iPhone rank. iPhone best rank is also great, especially for the applications, which are already for quite a little bit uh, in the store, like maybe for a couple of months or six months or one year and so on. Because I love this feature, iPhone best rank because it gives you uh, like ideas. For example, here I see Alm. It's not very popular uh, keyword, but anyway, we were on the first position there. Here, fun noise, uh, maybe we are, we've been here on 12th position and sleep tracker plus plus, which is really popular. We've been on the fifth position and maybe from the fifth position, we've got a little bit of installs. Right now from 11th, of course not. So of course we need to add this sleep tracker to our, uh, actually, Colm is not uh, concerned about um, App Store optimization. They are concerned about their brand name because, of course, Colm gives them a lot of installs. But anyway, if you are not Colm, uh, Sleep Tracker is a great keyword and uh, you, I will definitely use it in my subtitle or title, even if I could, to promote uh, my app higher according to this keyword. Uh, iPhone movement. Uh, we can check home. It's also not about Manti Core. Uh, creating it's about uh, analyzing so we will uh, talk about it a little bit later iphone total apps also very important because here uh, it's actually counted in our difficulty metric but you can also orient on this uh, the less competitors you've got the easier it will be for you to promote your application according to this keyword so uh i like this one and i think it's uh yes it's quite popular it's like 50 for uh, searches popularity and fan noise also 
Uh, I like this uh, Sonos for iPad. If we have like iPad, it's great. Headspace, but Headspace is brand key, uh, keyword. By the way, you can check if this keyword is branded or not by our brand icon on this keyword. And, um, and you can understand that maybe you don't want to put it in your metadata. Or if you would, you can actually put brand names only in the keywords field. In App Store, <clears throat> uh, in Google Play, it's forbidden only if you are uh, using it in your functions of the application. You can add it to your description, uh, any brand name. Uh, and uh, it's actually all the same for iPad, uh, in name and subtitle. It's also important if you're creating a new semantic core, for example, you can understand which keywords you are already using. Like for example, of course, we use column in our metadata, in our title, and it's green because it's one keyword, we use it, the whole keyword call in our title, sleep sounds in subtitle. So it means that in subtitle, we use only one keyword of these two, sleep sounds. I think we use maybe sounds, or maybe sleep, I don't know. We will check a little bit later. And you can actually check uh, here rank history very, um, very quickly check it. Uh, so we've done it, we've created, we check all the metrics and we've got like at least maybe okay let's say like this we have uh 24 keywords you can also use i love this feature it's explore it helps you to understand uh which keywords can be found in the store it's like almost live search live search is here you can check it here but uh anyway you can check rank history you can edit as competitor you can view it in App Store, view full app profile, and so on. So uh, we've actually done everything uh, in our keyword table. Let's go and I will show you how to collect a little bit more keywords to your semantic core. Yeah, continue. You don't want to add these keywords. Uh, keyword auto suggestions. This feature is available from our Guru plan uh, and you can mm, actually find different ideas for your semantic core one more time. I repeated so many times semantic core today, but <laughs> we are talking about it right now. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, most popular keywords. Uh, it actually shows you the most popular keywords for application you are tracking right now call. Remember, you can track actually um, to five applications uh, in one time in our uh, in your account, you can delete them and new ones. Anyway, it's like five applications. You can add as competitors nine applications to each application, just like that. Uh, so most popular keywords, uh, you can check them here. You can also add them and it will add keywords to your keyword table. So you can, uh, after you've done it, you can uh, understand uh, which keywords you don't need, maybe. Uh, you can show show popular keywords or show missing keywords. Also, uh, I like this feature because if I've already added keywords uh, to our keyword table, I don't want to repeat them here. But if you don't want it, you can um, clear this checkbox. And uh, that's all actually. Let's go to competitors based keywords. I like this too. So if we've added <clears throat> a little bit of competitors to our account, to this application, we can check uh, which keywords uh, have our competitors. And we can also check how many of our competitors have them in their metadata, how many of our competitors are indexed by the store on these keywords, really very useful. Uh, long tail keywords. By the way, I will also uh, switch to how to create, mm, no, 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 I wouldn't switch. <laughs> I've changed my mind. Uh, we'll go to Japan and after I will show you. Or, or I can actually do it right now. So this we've got cool feature translate to English. If you are working in any of almost in any hour two, you can translate everything to English. So if you are working with any localization and you don't know the language, like for example, I don't know, I think it's a Farsi maybe language uh, and um, it's I mean free iPhone filter breaker. It's not the keyword which I would like to use in my metadata of for the application call that's why i wouldn't use it or like iphone vpn here for example it's really convenient so you can create this semantic core for japan for china or for any other lang country and language you are not um, you don't know just using this translate to english feature almost through all of our uh, all of our tools uh long tail keywords with what does it mean so this is actually keywords which are mm, long. 
That's all. Uh, they are long and usually they are least competitive than the short ones, but they can also be quite popular. So we can check here daily impressions, popularity, searches, popularity, and if you like them, a number of competitors. Because, for example, maybe you <clears throat> don't want to use the keywords uh, on which you have a lot of competitors. Or maybe you are aimed to use only the keywords which are using your competitors. I don't know, you would like to do uh, things like this. You can also um, analyze it and add keywords you would like. List competitive keywords. So here are uh, actually list competitive keywords. We analyze not only your keywords, but all the keywords we have in the uh, App Store. Right now we are working with App Store. Uh, and we show you. So we show number of competitors who are using this keyword and iPhone total apps. It's really cool because right now rain sounds, um, I for deep sleep, cool daily impressions. It's 41, it's 41 day search ads. It's nine. It's okay. Uh, maybe here 11, even 11, uh, such as popularity and only 11 iPhone total apps. So I really like it. It's great. Uh, it shows you quite popular keywords and, uh, with almost, um, uh, the least, the, uh, least number of competitors even you can find uh, in the store uh, and you can also add them just like that and uh, add them to your oh it's almost 5000 4 and um, 200 keywords great list competitive keywords for application call and good for keyword boosting uh, let's uh, let's let, okay let's talk about it right now so if you would like to boost any of your keywords uh, to the top we have such thing as incentivized installs uh, paid installs from users on any keyword so for example and our platform can advise you keywords for such boosts if you would like to know about it more uh, please write us in the intercom application we will answer you and we'll find the best keywords for uh, boosting for you and we'll tell you how it exactly works and expect it to be trending uh, you know in app store we have such feature as uh, four keywords which are you know, going to be popular uh, and uh, not, not ones which are going to be popular in app store we actually have the keywords when you press search button in app store you have these four keywords before you start typing any uh, search request uh, and uh, they tell us that it's the keyword which are uh, trending right now and if uh, we analyze we have data for six years and we analyze it for six years uh, and if um, you need to if we think that any of such keywords are going to be in trending soon we will show you here for your application you are tracking right now it's also a cool feature sometimes we have keywords here and you can understand that you need to get your position higher according to these keywords because it will be popular soon uh, and uh, uh, let's go to organic report uh, we really will talk a lot about semantic core here because um, in our semantic core we use almost all of our tools to create it and organic report starting from power plan uh, you can uh, use it <clears throat> is really great because it helps you to analyze all the keywords all the keywords uh, indexed uh, this which on all, all the keywords on which this application is indexed by the store uh, right now for example for column application we find 4,000 of keywords you can check it for application you are tracking you can check it for any application of your competitors it's so great uh, and you can, by using plus, you can add them to your keyword analytics. If you are not sure about the keywords you are using, maybe like, uh, let's find timer app. For example, I see it somewhere. Yes, here. Uh, I don't know, timer app. It's about uh, timer or maybe it's about, um, not about like meditation and all this stuff. Let's check live search. Live search will tell you uh, what user will see when they type a uh, timer app, we can find it here. And uh, uh, it's calm, it's inside timer, better sleep, headspace. So what, so yeah, actually it's application for us, for our metadata. So uh, maybe zero capacity and health, not about, but anyway, mm, I think it's a good keyword for us. So we can check any keywords like this in organic report immediately to find is it suitable for you or not. Uh, and let's go to ASO Comparative Report, the last but not the least. ASO Comparative Report is the favorite tool of all of our clients 
And here, if we are talking about semantic core, you can mm, you can analyze the semantic um, themes for any keyword. Like for example, mm, let it um, load a little bit because it's a lot of data calculated here, and we need in the table. So what actually a so comparative report is? A so comparative report uh, shows us one changes in top 100 for uh, two dates we've chosen here. Uh, it's um, by month right now. You can change it to any. You can compare any data like for a year, for two weeks, for two days, anything you would like. Or you can compare versions and so on. We have versions here. And uh, let's go. In uh, when we create semantic core, why will you need? Why we need it? Need this tool? Uh, let's type, uh, for example, mm, sleep. I need the keyword sleep, and we will see all the keywords which contain uh, this keyword. If we are talking about our application, it's great. We can analyze how actually we are doing with the keyword sleep and the different search phrases according to it. Mm, if we are talking with our, if we are uh, analyzing our competitors, we can also uh, analyze how they are doing, how on which positions they have um, the best uh, ranking, and so on. And uh, uh, we can also understand that, for example, we have different apples, and we can choose the best one, the best keyword, uh, which has uh, currently a lot of daily impressions. We can also analyze on which daily impressions become more, or at least, like for example. Uh, actually see that all of them come more um, according to last month so you can analyze it here and of course you can buy classes add them uh, on your keyword table and after create the semantic core uh, analyzing the keywords you've already added as i uh, showed you before uh, and right now um, i would like to speak to japan just to quickly show you how to <clears throat> How to create metadata uh, with uh, the application? Not with the application. How to create metadata if you don't know the language? Yep. We'll wait. I know it's a lot of keywords. I'm sorry. Please load. Oh, I can maybe update the page. Yes. Yes. It will follow. Sometimes it happens. Uh, and let's go to, 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 okay, let's find it. Oh, let's go to France. I don't know French. Do you guys know French? I'm not. I wish I could. I love this language. I think it's beautiful, but I don't know. So, uh, I don't know. Actually, I see, I have here a different, uh, different, different English words. But anyway, uh, I wouldn't even try to read. It's lip magic. Uh, let's add it. Uh, what I also like. I will just try to find maybe this also in French. I don't know. We can after check it on our. Uh, let's try these guys. Um, mm -hmm -hmm. I see really a lot of English keywords. It's actually almost all the time. Uh, when the application is popular, you will find a lot of um, English keywords in it. Maybe missing rank keywords. Let's check. Uh, I like this keyword. But daily impressions a little bit low. Embed soundscapes actually in English. But where is my translation? Here, I find it. Uh, what? Okay, you can see like just like this. It's French, 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 uh, French, English, 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 a lot of English. So you can understand Italian, for example, French, uh, because headspace, for example, meditation, but uh, the third word is in French. That's why it's text as French. So you can add just like that. You can analyze from which language you add and you can add them on your uh, keyword table. And after on keyword table, you can also press this uh, translate button. And uh, by the way, you can also search when you search not only in, uh, uh, it will search in both languages, actually. Uh, you can type in French, you can type in English. For example, I can uh, try like music keyword and it will show me this keyword because it's translated as music it will okay let's try the whole uh keyword music so it <clears throat> we can understand it better so just like that you analyze you translate 
all the keywords to English and you can create the data. Uh, just one thing here. I wouldn't advise you to um, do the metadata. The semantic query you can create, but metadata is preferable to give to the native speaker of this language because they can create it more accurate than you will do even with translation. And uh, let's go here. Uh, and I would like to stop sharing my screen and we will go to our presentation once again. So we've talked about this and uh, how to work with search queries. Let's uh, go to this. Uh, so we have search queries, search phrases, as uh, you would like to, you can, uh, you can name it as you wish. And <clears throat> here in our search phrases, I would like to show you how to uh, find more interesting keywords and how to understand which keywords is for your application and which is not. Okay, Calm. Calm, of course, is for our application. Uh, let's try to keyword better because a lot of like better me, better sleep, so on. I need this keyword and I need to check uh, will people search for it when they're searching for sleep applications and so on. So Keyword Explorer actually shows you it's simulation of the user screen, uh, iOS or Android application when they are typing uh, everything. So better, how they will type the keyword better? They will start with, I think, B letter and they will see such suggestions. Bumble, bank, okay, not. I will type E, I think. I wouldn't see in my uh, suggestions. No, I don't see it in three. So I will try to bed, better net. No, I will type T, not R, sorry. Uh, better sleep. And I already see better sleep. So it's actually about this. When So I mean that better sleep, it's actually very important keyword for me because when you there type bed or we can also switch to sleep and see how fast how which suggestions we will have according to each syllable so when you start working with your keywords i really advise you to uh start typing like that by uh, syllable to understand which search phrases you can use and plus you will also find like daily impression search popularity this is available or starting from pro plan everything is opened so we can work like that and also save it to your uh, keyword analytics. So actually it's about uh, how to work with search phrases. And let's go to our next, how to create metadata for each release. Uh, why would we like to talk, why I would like to talk uh, with you about it? Because uh, we have a specific tool which is available one more time starting from ProPlan uh, and its pro version is available from uh, Google Play. Let's go to our optimizer here. Uh, so optimizer <clears throat> helps you to create metadata really simply. Uh, what it does, we have English. Right now we're working with iOS application. If we're working with Google, it will be different because in Google uh, we have um, title, short description, description, indexed, and in uh, App Store, name, subtitle, keyword. So name. Home. Of course, it will highlight you read that you're using only four syllables, not 30 as possible. Because title is the most important thing in your metadata. Uh, the store um, adds more weight to it than to any to subtitle, to keywords. So just understand which keywords you're using in your title, they will have the highest position in ranking. So just like that, you need to fulfill it with keywords. Definitely call and do it. Uh, sleep, meditation, relaxation. It's actually great. It highlights you uh, great that these uh, are not like syllables. You can just don't use them and it will be okay for the store. Maybe you will save like uh, three syllables, but maybe I don't, I can't right now add any interesting keywords with three syllables. So that's why it's okay. And keywords. You need to fill keywords here. And if you will repeat, like for example, I can uh, repeat the keyword sleep, it will highlight you uh, yellow or orange uh, that um, you already are using this keyword. Don't repeat anything twice in your metadata when you are working with App Store. It doesn't make any sense. So it will also tell you that you can add additional localizations. Right now, uh, we've done a lot of researches and we can tell that all these localizations are indexed by the store in the uh, USA mar market. And we are working with English, US, United States. That's why it will tell you all these additional languages. 
when you've done your work right now it's not like accurate data because we have only 24 keywords on our keyword table we didn't fulfill our metadata but anyway i can tell you how does it work so uh you will check the number of search queries you have and uh, in this metadata and the current one you have in your organic report uh search queries with the rank 33 right now iphone ipad 4 ipad now this application is not working average daily impressions you see current average daily impression is uh, 200 and here is almost 2000 it's because it analyzed only these three keywords and this uh calculates all the daily impressions and they uh calculate them with uh, this 4000 that's why it's lower uh and average search as popularity the same so uh in youth report we can check that we use all these keywords that we used all these uh, search queries and the semantic report which uh semantic with themes we've covered with our uh semantic core and here in unused report we can uh, check which keywords we didn't use we didn't use of course a lot of keywords uh just because uh it's uh, like a little bit fake uh, creating of metadata but of course when you will create metadata you will be accurate and you will do everything so that's why in unused report you can just check uh if you didn't forget about any important keywords it will be great the same with search queries and semantic report maybe any of these themes you didn't cover but you have to so it just will give you a reminder that you need to do it and everything by the way is exported so you can export anything from our tools to uh, xls if you need it uh, and work in excel sheets if you uh, used to work with them we also have stop words manager all the stop words uh, what does it mean it means that uh, in app store they will automatically add it to your metadata so if you have any keyword like uh, i would like some good sleep <laughs> you don't need to use the word some and there for example article and so on uh, export you can export you can save you can save a lot of metadata you will have it sets all the sets here saved sets because uh it's um it's like useful you can use it you can show uh, this to your manager or you can come back to it a little bit later if you don't want to create new metadata right now and you can export it immediately to the app store just like that with uh, creating metadata uh and let's go to our next question and we will talk about how to evaluate the effectiveness of optimization i actually uh love it because we have uh, two great reports i you've already seen them uh, and it's uh, our organic report so you've done the new metadata couple of weeks uh after you can check your organic report and if the number of keywords increased here you have more it's great uh if by the way you've added app store connect integration you will see a more a little bit detailed data about your app store search in, installs impressions product pages and so on and you can uh, understand uh is if it's increase it's okay if not uh you need to do something with your metadata one more time and uh aso comparative report is perfect for it why because one more time in data picker you can check any data you would like. For example, um, we would like uh, to compare uh, six months. For example, uh, we need to have the report for our supervisor, for our, I don't know, CEO, so on, that we uh, are doing a great job, that we have a lot of uh, positive movements in our keywords. It will load a little bit. Uh, and uh, I will show you yep right now thank you uh let's go to this uh three that's three months let's another three months because i'm afraid that the data will load a little bit longer than i wish uh so yeah so we see here different versions and for example we can check that uh, this version actually was uh, almost the best one we have a little bit more of keywords here so you can analyze and compare each metadata uh because below you can analyze what we've changed for example these guys i don't think that they've changed anything in name of the subtitle so probably they've changed anything in the keywords field that's why they have different um indexation metrics 
uh, and you can also check only visible part uh, of this tour uh, top 10 actually is quite visible uh, maybe even top 5 and you can check also which I actually see that right now they are doing great uh, and they are going in more and more indexation according to top 5 it's really cool uh, let's talk top so the same with top 10 so uh, in this semantic chart you can also find interesting points uh, and ideas for your new metadata creation and you can also analyze how good you've done uh, your uh, last optimization so uh, this is the keywords uh, according to your median so this median is created especially for your application right now it's calm and it's um, built on the number of daily impressions your application has it's the media so it's like middle result and uh, these keywords are good you are in top five for them amazing keywords these are a little bit lower so they are not interesting for your progress but these keywords are the most interesting because they are from they are right now in, in not in lower rank they are like from 5 to 20 ranking positions uh that's why they have higher daily impressions than usually you've got that's why you need to put attention to them so if with new metadata you have a lot of keywords here in this green field uh and um, in this one you are doing a great job and uh this one this detailed table with all the metrics uh, are really important in when you analyze the effectiveness of your metadata because for example right now you can check that uh in our um, like three months we can check details for uh these keywords and we see that we have like uh plus seven positions here uh plus one positions here we can actually sort them let's uh move it let's check positive for example you can tell to your bot that come on guys we have only positive movements we have different new keywords we have like plus 39 positions according to keywords and so on like this zero and a little bit uh, red ones which in which we've lost position actually uh really a little bit of them here but maybe for example here will be a, good, a, a really lost because this keyword has uh 800 of daily impressions previous or three months ago right now daily impressions is 2000 and we've lost our positions mm, it's a bit uh so that's why it really helps you to analyze everything uh previous popularity current popularity search popularity right now previous rank current rank movement best rank for this period so maybe you are analyzing the whole year it would be cool to see that for starting starting this year you was or like maybe on 10th position right now you are on the third position but your best rank first position was and worst rank maybe you will also leave and average rank sometimes it's important and you can also export all this table to xls if you need it uh, and compare metadata differences like these guys they delete promo text maybe they will they will definitely add the new one to the christmas uh, so that's why right now we don't have them you can also check a build size also is important uh, and uh, if you're like doing the uh, competitive application the screenshots they are using maybe they are changing actually they are changing a little bit screenshot not a little bit <laughs> i just see that they have done these uh, interesting metrics oh it's really interesting you, you see when using calm for sleep adults report it great great screenshot uh, and uh, just like this you can check what they are adding and in apps if you're also creating a um, competitive i'm starting actually to talk about uh, let's switch to our next question guys if uh, uh, you have any questions please type uh, them don't be shy <laughs> uh how to analyze competitors uh, aso strategies so let's talk about it right now uh yeah share our competitors so ASO strategy. So if you are creating the uh, application uh, and it's competitive to the application call, for example, it's a competitor, it's a future competitor, uh, analyze in apps how much does they cost, do they cost in your competitor and so on. This um, tool can help you. Also about this creature, the same. Mm. You can analyze what they are doing with their screenshots during the whole year and so on you just need to check to choose 
any competitor here. For example, sleep sounds meditation, we can check them and we will have all these data for your competitor. All the data I've already told you about uh, according to the column application. But let's check, uh, did they change anything? Mm, I also think they actually didn't change. They don't have a lot of reviews for three months, only like uh, 14 reviews, uh, not 15, 15 reviews. It's really small number of reviews. So these guys, they are mm, not doing a lot of work, definitely. So maybe they should start. They didn't change screenshots, anything. Uh, so yeah, they're not a good one to orient, orient on uh, Calm app. It's really great. Uh, you can also analyze the organic report for your competitors and 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 understand that check headspace how many keywords they've got what a little bit we can see that uh we gives you we give you a lot of data uh that's why sometimes the screen is lot but anyway it's just a couple of seconds and uh, everything is working um what else would I like to tell you about um, analyzing? So, yes, right now I will tell you about how you can understand from which keywords your competitors uh, got their installs. The organic report, the headspace, please load a little bit faster. I will appreciate it a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we are right now checking for Headspace. So Headspace uh, has even more uh, keywords in indexation, uh, 4,600. Of course, the first one is Headspace, uh, 3,000 daily impressions and estimated installs. How many installs this particular uh, application gets from each keyword, from meditation, from Calm app and so on, from positions, uh we have a lot of a lot of a lot of data by pluses you can add them to your keyword table also you can use it to understand how many installs uh, you will get from this application from this keyword if you will be in top one like for example if you will be in top one for mindful breathing you will get 29 uh, estimated installs uh if of course you are like um similar to the Headspace application, you have the same rating and so on, uh, always. Let's go and I will show you how to compare yourself to competitors. Uh, always remember, I love Keyword Explorer. It's really simple too, it's available from ProPlan, but anyway, it gives you so much data about competitors, about uh, keywords and so on. So let's type maybe the keyword, uh, Fitness. Let's let's try to talk about maybe fitness. A little bit different keyword. Yes, we'll wait for this to appear. And okay, maybe let's update. I think it will be faster because after switching from organic report, I'm not updating. Why so? Let's do. No, I want to wait to respond. It should respond. Oh, uh, may let's let me duplicate it. Yep, and it will be faster. So maybe my Wi-Fi decided to stop working. Yeah, we finally are here. So let's uh, type fit. <clears throat> Not fit, let's type fit. So what we will see, uh, how we can understand which application will get more installs than another. For example, this keyword fit. Uh, daily impressions, it's like, okay, it's like middle uh, meaning of uh, daily impressions, middle metric. Uh, so fit, you see they've got uh, 4.6 and Google fit has 
4.3 and fitness coach has 4.7 and fit on 4.9 so fitness coach actually have a lot of um screen uh, on, uh, on on any in any user screen because they have app and also subscription like editorial promotion from apple uh, but fit on here have 4.9 uh, rank so i suppose that maybe fit on even will have more uh installs than the fitness coach maybe but fitness coach has a lot of um screen uh so that's why maybe they will have even more than google fit because google fit they are uh, just don't fit <laughs> here because they have 4.3 rating uh let's check maybe my fitness poll so just like that you can analyze all the competitors you can analyze their metadata you can actually uh check a profile of any application you can uh even if you don't want to add this application or maybe you have your limit you can actually check the organic report the aso comparative report of any application and even if you don't add it and a profile let's check you can also observe a profile of your competitors to see what they are doing what they are using their icon how many times where were the first release and the latest who is the developer what about screenshots how many uh, devices they've got and review breakdown total reviews estimated total views in the search for today for each day actual description in apps and so on uh so that's all about competitors let's go to our next next pressure presentation here yes oh yeah i think uh <clears throat> the last but not least how to work with app reviews so uh our platform we've been working with only with app store optimization like for about uh, four years and after we've decided to start working with reviews because it's also uh, one of the uh, important things when you are doing your uh, upstream optimization, you need to have a great reviews, a great ranking like 4.4 is great and higher, of course. Uh, so what we can give you according to rating and replies. Uh, you can, <clears throat> of course, replies on your reviews. You just need to add integration with App Store or Google Play and reply on your reviews. You can actually uh, add all the um, filters like five star, three star, one star rating, or you can use require attention. It's like preset for uh, only keywords with low rent rating and without replies. You can also check any countries, any uh, time period, uh, review changed. You can also check which reviews changed. Uh, maybe you've started working with them and some of the reviews changed. Maybe uh, they've changed anything about the review. Maybe they've changed their, let's check, uh, become uh, worse. They become worse, became worse. Uh, this guy, yep, two stars, one star. Uh, here, three stars and then one star because I think that the developer didn't do anything with it. So you can check it just like that. Also very important to check featured reviews. You can check featured reviews for the time period, or you can check all the featured reviews. I will show you a little bit later. And uh, Felix has a stunning, amazing, great review, five stars, long review. It will definitely help users to understand would they download this application or not. You can also check deleted reviews. <clears throat> it's important if you are, uh daily interesting why they decided to delete it uh if you are uh, working with reviews and uh, featured reviews uh has some negative words or maybe they are promoting any of your competitors and so on and you can uh use such feature as report a concern we also have it here you can do it from our tool just report a concern for any keyword or on a, for any review which you think is um quite offensive or anything like that. Report a concern and uh, it will sell, send a concern to the uh, App Store or Google Play. And uh, uh, you can also reply, you can use templates. I will show you how to create. You can send random templates from the from any folder. You can also use bulk action. You can choose a lot of uh, reviews and add tag on all of them or just to uh, answer 
anyway thank you guys if they are positive reviews and so on if you don't want to specify or you have a lot of reviews you can use this bulk action feature uh you can also review links from you can you can for example would like to check only long reviews starting from 500 syllables cars here we name it like that uh, and analyze them and maybe you would like to one star we have six long uh reviews long negative reviews you can also filter by tag uh, you can and you can of course filter by replies so you can check if you are for example uh, monitoring how your support manager is working you can filter by <clears throat> replied reviews and who actually replied on them right now it's only me in my account uh, or you can check report a concern which reviews were deleted or not and no replies you can check which reviews um, were not replied uh, this is feature is about when you have uh, automatization, sometimes maybe anything occurred, or maybe we've got a lot of uh, replies to your reviews, so they are processing, you can check it. Pending reply, it's about automatization. We have such feature as uh, automatic replies, I will show you, and uh, we have such mode as uh, approval mode. So they will appear here, they are pending your approve. And you can also check only automated replies, if you use our automatization you can save any filters if you would like and after you come for for example you've been on holidays and you would like to come and uh, don't uh, create anything just to use the, the filter you've already created and let's go to our analysis so on reviews analysis you can analyze uh, reviews how many of them you've got for the specific periods in specific country. For example, we can check all the countries, we can choose all the countries, and uh, we will see in which countries we have more reviews, in which country uh, we have more positive reviews. For example, maybe in like Germany, we have only positive reviews. We can go to Germany, of course, it's not a lot of uh, reviews, but anyway, uh, they are only positive. We can check why so. Maybe in Germany we have any specific promotion that helps us to get such positive reviews. For Australia, for example, we also have not a lot of number of reviews, but they are a little bit more negative than in United States or United Kingdom. And um, we can check how many reviews we have daily, on each day, with which stars. The same you can do with version breakdown. You can compare versions like which version was better, which version was not so good. Like here we can we compare two versions and definitely the first one was better than the current one. The same with rating, uh, absolutely the same. We just uh, divide reviews uh, like um, uh, rating with uh, text and only rating with stars. We just divide them. And feature reviews, feature reviews, uh, all featured reviews in each country, you can observe it. Featured reviews are very important because it's the first reviews the user see when they download the application. So it's important to have only positive reviews, not uh, like this one in your on your screen when the user firstly see your application. Uh, we have, of course, automatization, automation, templates. Uh, you can create templates. We have a really cool uh, import feature here. You can just download example this document uh, put all your uh, if you already have all your templates there drop it here and uh, import it and you will have all the temp templates here uh auto replies let's go let's go i will show you really quickly tags so tags uh you create tags different tags maybe it's bug maybe it's a cool feature maybe it's five star maybe thank you and anything like that and let's go to auto tags so you don't want to create uh you don't want to put text on your replies yourself you want to create uh text mm, you want to ask us our platform to put text out uh, text automatically uh and so you can actually create any rule uh, let's name it a uh, bug. Mm, bugs, maybe. Bad bugs. <laughs> bugs bad, maybe. It's like for uh, all applications, we have only one. Uh, app freeze, for example. App is not working, crash, 
uh, no, as we, <laughs> we can add only one tag at one time. Crash, let's crash. Everything is crashed, so it's bugs bad. So review text uh, maybe is uh, contains. Uh, if you choose is, it means that it's, it's only text. If contains, it's contains. Uh, freeze maybe uh, keyword or keyword cr crash 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 or let's add keyword crashed uh, and add one condition more uh, rating should be definitely less than three stars uh, there are four stars is okay if uh, and maybe read length is uh, more is more than uh, twenty syllables, so we can understand anything from this review. Save just like that, and it will start. If it's on, it will automatically add text on all the reviews you have. Uh, fetch tag crash just like that. Very simple. We just save it, create it, and it starts working. Uh, the same is with auto replies. If you would like to auto replies on any of your um, reviews, I don't know what's going on actually. Okay, thank you. <laughs> you start uh, working. And let's go auto replies. Just like that. You can create a new rule. Uh, let's uh, try to make positive one. Template. You can use exact template. You can cho choose random template from uh, English, for example. Uh, we have six templates uh, or report a concern. You can also create the automatization rule and uh, automatically send report a concern on negative reviews. Uh, scope all applications, approval mode. Here is, I've already told about it before, approval mode or auto posting mode. Auto posting mean uh, they will automatically just post, the system will automatically just post their replies on reviews and approval mode. Uh, you will see the uh, reply and you can approve it or you can edit it or you can decline it. Uh, and assign automatically if the same as text. Uh, review text uh, contains or maybe, yes, contains uh, like uh, thanks or maybe th I'm sorry, <laughs> thank or maybe great, something like that. Uh, also condition, let's uh, add rating is five star, for example, only five stars we want to say thank you. And uh, it's actually, maybe we would like to only short, so it's less than uh, 30 symbols, but just like that. And save. So this uh, uh, rule is working right now. You can also uh, delete any rules you can uh, turn them on or turn them off as you want. And of course, you can always change them if you would like. So <clears throat> right now, uh, let's go to category rankings. I didn't tell about you this instrument, but I like it and we will finish uh, our webinar. I hope it's not so long, uh, just a little bit, um, maybe a little bit long. So uh, category ranking, help you to understand in which category you have your positions and uh, how it changed according to any time period you would like to choose here. You can choose one year, two years, three years, two weeks, two days, anything you would like, and you will observe positions of your application in specific country. But uh, I really like summary. You can switch here and you can uh, analyze in which uh, countries you have the highest positions. Like for example, in Canada, they have like health and fitness six, uh, in Bermuda, in United States, so on, in Malta. Sometimes it gives you a really cool ideas for new um, countries, for new localizations, because sometimes we are working only with United States and Canada and maybe Germany, Spain and so on. But in Malta, for example, you, you have already have a good position. So start working with keywords and you will have new, uh, new people, new users in your application. And actually that's all uh thanks everyone i've showed you everything just uh, a little bit about our uh useful materials uh useful information one more time black friday everything that i've just shown you you can right now buy with 50 percent discount so uh just use it all, all our annual plans 
you can have uh, this uh, uh, 50% off. Uh, we have really useful ASO index. It will show you uh, which apps need App Store optimization. We've uh, done a really cool report. It's totally free. You can just read it and understand uh, how you should work with applications. Because sometimes, for example, if application is really branded, uh, like Colm, for example, they don't do App Store optimization because they have the brand. The brand gives them a lot of installs from the search. That's why we've done this report. Uh, as a guest community, join us in our Slack community. Uh, there are useful news in different categories, feature requests, App Store, Play Store, uh, so many of them. Uh, our YouTube ten channel. On our YouTube channel, we have uh, different videos, tutorials on working with App Store optimization with our tools and all the recordings of our webinars. We've got a lot of interesting guests there. Uh, which are uh, popular in a uh, mobile sphere. Uh, if you got any questions, just uh, write me on my email, ekasadesk.com. If you're already using our platform, you can type me in intercom. I will help you with all your questions. And it was really nice having all of you here. If you are watching uh, this in the recording, uh, hi to you too. <laughs> so have a great evening if it's evening or have a great day if it's morning or day. Um, many are watching it. Thanks everyone and bye-bye.